Hey DIY friends and welcome back to another review video. This is an update to my original Dollar Tree Peel and Stick Subway Tiles that are the Tool Bench brand. They come in the white and also this gray color which you can see here in the back. And I have utilized this as a prop when I'm doing pictures and also some DIYs. These are very good and they are here really well to paper, walls, like pretty much anything I put it to, it actually attaches to with no issue and no problem. I have put these all white tiles in my bathroom for over four months now and I really like the way that it looks. And I'm going to be showing you and giving you an update on how it has actually um, held up in my bathroom. I typically like hot showers, so it's going to be a lot of smoke in there and it's going to be very, very hot and humid. And depending upon the kind of tiles you get, you can even do a hit and miss. So I'm going to show you what has transpired with these tiles in my bathroom. Now, granted, I have also utilized these tiles in an all dry surface. I use these in the basement as well on the wall. And I have used these on, on different DIY projects that are not in any kind of humidity or heat and things like that. So they have not had any kind of issues. They're perfectly fine. Using them in the kitchen as a backsplash is also a great idea as well. So I want to show you what it looks like as well for the all white and here is what it looks like for the all white it looks so good so clean I love this color so much all right so let me show you my bathroom and give you an update on how it has held up for over four months all right so here are the tiles in my bathroom they still look pretty good from afar I actually peeled that one off in the middle because I am taking this down and I'm taking this down because when you get closer it's really it's really a hot mess because I have realized these tiles are not suitable for a bathroom with a shower or a tub. Anything that can draw humidity and heat, you should not install these tiles there because I also have these same tiles in my basement and they do not look like this. And what's the problem? The problem that I'm having is that it's bulgy. Like you under well, if you're not familiar with these tiles, these tiles are two separate pieces glued together around the edges. So it looks like this. It's literally a tile piece with a sticky backing, and they only glue the outer edges. So all of the front pieces are now bulging outward, and I truly think it's because of the humidity and the heat that I have. Um, put in my bathroom when I'm doing my showers and stuff because in my basement when I have these on some foam board and on a couple on a section of my wall I don't have this problem like at all so I would say yeah you could you should still buy these to use as a temporary situation for your home but when it comes to where you put them at don't put them in the bathroom unless it's a half bathroom that only has a sink then yeah, you'll be fine. But if you put these in a bathroom with a shower or a tub, it's gonna be a mess. And again, if you, I mean, if you have the time and the patience, all you have to do is remove a section like this, get you some glue and glue all of the main parts here, like in the center there, so that when you place it against the sticky part, it will 100% adhere. And you don't have to worry about the bulge that you see here on my wall because other than that i mean they have held up i mean you can see here the sticky part it's still sticky it's literally on my wall it's no issue and no problem with the sticky part it's just that front part where they have not connected it to the back part i guess i don't know why they would do that because that just makes it that's just stupid but yeah, so I mean, yeah, I mean, I would still recommend getting these for another, um, for someone that's in an apartment or a rental. Just, you know, just don't put them in your bathroom. Um, I'm about to do something different on my wall using Dollar Tree products, so I'll have that video up soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this update. Have a good one.